Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Witness Day. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the UPS. So what it is, is a very simple device that acts as a buffer between your main power source and your computer. So all it will allow you to do is do what's called safe shutdown. Basically, if you have hard drives, they really don't like to be like, you know, directly disconnected. You might corrupt the data that is stored in them. That's why because of the data security, we want to make sure that there is no un you know, power that randomly cuts off. To protect against that, we employ UPS of various sizes and it uses battery as an energy storage. There are other types of UPS, but none of them are available for general public. Like there is a rotary UPS where you have a flywheel that stores the energy. There is super capacitor one. Again, these things are not available for general public. So for this reason, I'm just saying they store their most of energy in batteries. And it allows you to basically isolate your main computer from power, uh, power to some extent power fluctuation and to most extent power failures that happens in your grid. So let's say you connected your system to, uh, to this and this to grid. If grid goes down, this will give you at least few minutes of power where you can safely do a shutdown. So we have to understand this topology is that it's not a standby device. It's not completely deactivated when you like, you know, turn it off. It's a uh, using itself whenever you are connecting anything to it so this has what's called uh, auto transformer basically what does that mean is that many of you have seen that ups does not allow power to flow through it if you have turned it off so when you turn it on it the power that is coming in from the grid goes to an auto transformer this is their first line of defense what does this allow is as you can see it can handle a little bit of voltage fluctuations this is a circuitry for 110 volt system or 120 so if you have in from your grid low voltage comes in it will switch to ups first during that time it will switch to 110 volt uh, basically it will make the auto transformer step up the voltage and then it will disconnect the battery and then again you will have the power directly coming from the grid now let's say you have over voltage your grid goes over volt and it will again disconnect the system then it will uh, use the battery in that while that while because any of you have worked with stabilizers no stabilizers takes a while to change so in that while just because your computer does not you know shut off in that while it's trying to change it switches to ups uh, ups mode basically you are running from battery power it's a you might hear it basically cut 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 you might hear this sort of sound from it and it's a very simple device it's just an auto transformer there is a charge controller there is battery and there is inverter now there is a bit of switching delay it's not like uh, online ups where there is absolutely no switching delay there is a bit of switch delay and uh, earlier very old inverters used to switch in around uh, 10 milliseconds to 15 milliseconds this switch is very quickly as quickly as possible so their target generally is below 5 millisecond so your computer's capacitor should be powerful enough that they can hold a charge for five milliseconds and this will switch. Generally, they switch under that and as they get older, they might take longer. So all you have to understand is there is an auto transformer inbuilt into your UPS. So what are the pros and cons of this device? First is super cheap. Most of you have this. As you can see, Intex makes it, Microtech makes it, Eyeball makes it. They're, they are super cheap. They are super cheap. You can just buy them or off the shelf. They are quite simple. They are compact. Generally, they are one unit as in like the batteries inside them. And you can buy them in large variety of power ranges where you can have like one battery, dual battery or sometimes four battery. So suffice to say, it's a very cheap arrangement. However, it does transfer fluctuation. This is not like an online UPS where your no matter what happens into your grid, this will not allow you to transfer this because every time there is a voltage fluctuation it actually switches it actually switches to ups and then switches back to the grid system there is a double switch happening every time here there is a voltage fluctuation and as i said there is a millisecond uh, delay it's not instantaneous so uh, your actual equipment is actually getting a voltage fluctuation and if let's say voltage fluctuation is happening below the auto transformer transforming range as in like the voltage fluctuation is 5 volt plus and minus it won't do anything that 5 volt plus and minus will go through your equipment for that reason i specified if you had uh, very precious electronics you might want to use online ups link in that i bar there so for that reason we 
use this as it is very cheap that's the first point you can afford it you can just go out and buy it but they do transfer fluctuation so if you have like a lot of fluctuation between five six volts and it's like you know constantly happening your equipment will still get damaged because this does not prevent it and every time there is a voltage up or down which is within its range it will switch it will switch to ups then it will switch up the transformer then it will switch back to the main line so during that time your equipment is getting a lot of fluctuations so we have many of you have uh, recently in recent times have noticed a trend that all the inverters are also saying ups come inverter so what they are actually is very simple they are only giving you a switch of ups grade basically they're going to switch from uh, battery power supply to your main light -like power supply in less than five millisecond that's the whole point now many of the you if you have seen the inverters you have realized they have external batteries now this is crucial for them as in my other video link here you have i have told you like the inverter does not control how long your equipment will last it will be controlled by the battery so like this is a 220 amp hour battery you might uh, let's say your power cut is very little so you might want to buy a 150 amp hour battery or if your power cut is way too much you might want to buy 220 amp or 250 amp so as you can see there are battery for every specific need and specific range with different uh, milliamp hour rating and sometimes amp hour ratings for this reason like your conventional normal ups have seven to nine that's it that's the maximum generally they have for internal batteries but outside battery they will start roughly at 50 to 100 to and 200 you are starting to reach into tubular territories and it's quite big and this is the reason please don't connect big battery to your ups not because they won't work they will work pro, uh, without any issue but they are not designed to charge these big batteries these batteries uh, charge rate is very high like the c the current that they can take into it is generally rated very high like this battery can take upwards of 5 to 20 amps your ups was not designed to give us that amount of power it was designed to maximum give one amp power so if this battery got discharged on your ups on your, your like, you know, crappy ups where you just plugged in the cable from inside and you know running this it may not even be able to bring it back to life it might be dead permanently simply because it does not have enough juice on the dc circuit and it's also not built to run 24 into 7 however inverters are designed much more beefly and much more uh, strong to make sure that they can handle this kind of batteries for this reason you have to be very careful don't just take a ups and you know connect big batteries to it it will not be able to handle it properly and they do not have built-in stabilizer that line interactive function is not there in most inverter some inverter may have it but uh, tread carefully here almost none of them have so and if you see something known as ups mode in your inverter what does that simply mean is that whenever the voltage goes either over volt or under volt all it will do is directly switch to battery power now that's not an issue if uh, where you live where over volt and under volt is a rare occurrence let's say it happens uh, once a day or twice a day it won't be a you know big concern however if you live in a place where that's a constant thing you know you constantly getting in let's say in 220 volt line like i get 180 volt 190 volt sometimes 350 volt uh, the ups i cannot be in ups mode because my battery will be completely discharged this is why we use line interactive ups for computers and ups mode is a very very cheap way to get a proper ups service out of it so inverters are not designed as ups so what can you do is buy a uh, pure sine wave inverter and then connect that to a ups normal cheap grade ups that way whenever you are not in ups mode because i told you like if you have a lot of voltage fluctuation up and down either you connect a stabilizer to your inverter or there will be issue that your battery will be completely discharged in ups mode if there is a lot of power fluctuation for this reason you have to understand there is a difference between ups and inverter primary of which is one does not have an auto transformer built into it and you can't just like you know put, put big batteries into your ups you can do it try it at your own risk and you might create a fire hazard so this was my presentation and i think now i have completed my entire saga of ups every type of ups this was a in line interactive cheapest ups before that i have done online ups and before that i have done an overview so you can see watch all those videos and get a full idea about how the heck this whole world works so i hope you like this my 
video and uh, learn from it in that case please like if you did it don't worry about it dislike it and uh, leave a comment what would you want to see next in the episode of computer awareness day subscribe press the bell icon as i make video every day and as always thanks for watching